In this video, I'm going to show you how you can deal with exporting large table data from your Power BI reports into Excel. We're going to look at three different methods here using Power BI Desktop to show you how easy this process can be. All of that and more. So without further ado, let's get started. Hi, my name is Fernand and welcome to the Solutions Abroad YouTube channel, where we cover tips, tricks, and best practices when working with Power BI. I upload new videos every week, so make sure you hit that subscribe button and the bell icon to get notified when a new one is out. So this topic was actually something that I covered in a recent video where I look at the different ways that you can export data into Excel from your Power BI reports uh, in many different ways, in Power BI service or maybe from Power BI desktop. So if you haven't seen that one yet, go check that out. But a couple of people have mentioned to me that they have problems or they hit an issue when they try to do these methods when you have table data that is quite large. So let's have a look at it in a specific example here. So here we are in my uh, Power BI reports uh, opened using Power BI desktop. And I have loaded here a few uh, tables. And we're going to look at this table here, which if you if we just bring in one of the columns, so it's just one column table. And if we do a quick count of how many rows there are here, I'm just going to bring it in and then do a count here. As you can see, it has about 500,000 rows in this table. Now, uh, visualizing it is fine. I mean, obviously, it just means that it's going to be a long, long scroll bar to use. But the issue comes with trying to export it using this method. So if you hit export data using this option, you will get this error where you will uh, it will warn you that there will be some data sampling that will occur. So if you hit continue and export it this way, what it means is that Power BI will export the data for you, but not the full data. And that's because there's just too much data in this table for it to export it by itself like this. So you won't get the full kind of 500,000 rows that you would normally or you would expect from this. So let's have a look at the first easiest way that you can uh, get this data out from Power BI into Excel by simply using the new DAX query view uh, feature. So we're going to hit continue here. Actually, we're going to hit cancel. And instead of letting the sampling occur, we're just going to go to this DAX query view here on the uh, left hand side of the screen. So what we'll do is we'll simply replace the top N here instead of using top N, we'll just simply refer to the sheet that we want to evaluate. We'll remove the top N as well so that we just get everything. And if you hit run, you'll see that it it has the 500,000 rows that it um, that we have on that table. And from here, we simply just copy the entire table, open up Excel, and paste it here. So as you can see, it's giving us all of the data that we expect in this uh, export. If you're using this method, however, you just need to be aware that it works for data or exporting data up to 500,000 rows. Beyond that, your data will simply just cut off and you won't get the full export that you need. If you have tables that are more than 500,000 rows. If you want a more reliable way to export data beyond 500,000 rows, I would highly recommend kind of looking into using external tools because they're pretty easy to use and actually lets you export your data fairly easily. One of these tools that I would recommend is Bravo by SQL BI. So it's one of my new favorite external tools because it does a bunch of things that kind of really makes my life easier, like being able to create calendar tables, for example. I did cover it in another video if you want to learn more about it. But another feature that it has that is really useful is its ability to export data. So if we go to our report here, for example, and we look at this another table that I loaded, again, one column, but just for kind of demo purposes. And if I just simply do a count here, you will notice that um, it has about a million rows. And using the DAX query view, we won't be able to export all of that. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to the external tools here, uh, click Bravo. And then from here, as you can see, it, it does a bunch of things like, you know, checking, uh, analyzing a model. But the specific feature that we want to look at is the export data here. So from here, it will let you select which uh, table you want to export. 
So for example, here we select the 1 million table and you, you can see that it's giving us a warning saying the table has too many rows. So if we do and export it as it is in Excel, it might lose some details. So we're going to export it as CSV instead. As you can see that that removes that, uh, that warning. And if we hit from here, export, export selected here. And there we go. So as you can see, we've managed to export that table with 1 million rows in a CSV file format. So if we, uh, if I just open that very quickly, so this is the file that it exported. So it's giving us the, the data itself, the name of uh, the column. And as you can see, it's giving us the full 1 million rows that we needed from, from Power BI into Excel. Another tool that you can think about using if you already have it installed is DAX Studio. This has been around for a longer time than Bravo. So you most likely already have this installed, but the same general concept applies to using this external tool. So if you hit DAX Studio from here, it will open up the DAX Studio window. So when you open up DAX Studio, all you need to do is go to Advanced. You need to go to Export Data, choose CSV, choose where you want this to be stored in. So we'll leave it in my desktop for now. Hit Next. And here you can select which tables you want to export. So we'll simply choose the uh, table that we want to export. And then from here, you simply wait. And there we go. So as simple as the Bravo option. And that's really it for those three different methods that you can use to export your data. The benefit of using these methods is that you can actually do them all offline, which means that you don't really need a kind of Power BI Pro or premium subscription if you wanted to do it in the Power BI service, for example. And both of the external tools that I showed you today are both free, or at the very least, the features that we covered today are all available to use for free. So give them a try and let me know what you think. Thanks for watching. As usual, give this video a like if you found it useful. Give it a dislike if you didn't, so not to do better for next time. Ask your questions in the comment section box below so I can help you and you can help others. If you like this video, we have a Patreon page where you can support the channel and get exclusive perks like early access, demo files, and credits at the end of these videos. Thanks again for watching and see you in the next one. Bye-bye.